So hello everybody, Convert Moss 10.1 is out and it fixes quite some issues which are not only relevant to the distinct EX to which I got a lot of feedback from you and I also got sent some example files which are from Piano Book which is an online website which provides a lot of free samples from a user community so I will also link these two pianos we are testing with now down in the description of the video if you want to try them out yourself. So there are also some specifics about these. The first one is in 32-bit float samples and the second one is very very large so it's about two gigabytes of sound. But first let's have a look at the issue we had last time with the playback of eight stereo voices which caused some issues and I limited them to use only five voices. This one is now removed again and it's working totally nice and I will explain in a second why this is the case. So let's convert this example file here and if we take a look at the output I explained to you last time that we need here to have this note name and this switch where the next sample starts and the issue with that is that this MIDI note number is not C3 with 60 but it's actually 48 so it was one octave off so the this thing had to do a recalculation of this octave which required some performance as well as you had a lower sound quality due to the transposition calculations so this is now working nicely as we will also here in a second and the next issue we have if you have such complex sounds like here the woodland piano let's have a look at it how it looks in contact so you see there are lots of layers and also lots of groups up here and it contains for example also pedal effect sound so if you release the notes you will hear specific note release sounds and these cannot be playback on the distinct at all so it doesn't make sense to keep them and they can be easily filtered out that's something i forgot to do in the first version and this is now also part of this new version 10.1 that these groups are automatically removed otherwise you will have all these layers which are effect layers and do not carry the normal sound it will all be somewhere in a velocity layer and this will cause very very funny effects nevertheless I cannot remove all because I do not know which are the meaningful ones so what you should do if you want to convert such a sound is to do some pre-processing and remove the groups you do not use or I can also show you another trick so one idea is to convert for example to SFZ instead first and with SFZ you can easily look at the output code it's just a simple text file and in this text file you see the group with their region so the regions contain the samples and for example if you have here such a release sample and you see this group will also trigger on release you can simply delete this text from the file and also remove all the other groups you do not want to keep like a pedal down effect and then do the conversion from as of set from this corrected file into the distinct EX format. So as I also said this file is in 32 float which does not work as a source so far because there is an issue in the Java audio system converter it does not support this float format as a source so I implemented this now myself and you can now also use 32-bit float files as a source file and this will then be also converted to 16-bit PCM files which works also for all the other formats which require a kind of resolution conversion. So we will test this in a second but first let's have a look at the second one which has a main issue that it's pretty large it's close to two gigabyte of size and I limited the Java VVM to eight gigabyte in the version so far and I increased this now to 64 gigabyte which should be sufficient for even larger files and this can now also convert it nicely. Yeah, and some users already reported issues with the 1010 music as well. That are some sounds which start later, which is also the case here with the Woodland Piano. Let's have a look again here at contact. And if you look at the sample, you will see that it's starting about two seconds in. So if you play this back on a sampler, which cannot have this later start, later 
attribute it will play from the beginning and then you will have two seconds of silence which is not very very usable and that's an issue with the 1010 music format as well as with the expert sleepers this thing which also does not have such a parameter and i added now to both these formats the option to trim the sample only from where the start is and also remove if the sample is longer also all the data after the end and so you can play back this sample as well nicely so let's check it out first let's have a listen to the eight stereo voices with a pad sound <laughs> Yeah, this sounds much better now and is also working nicely without any weird artifacts. Second one, let's have a listen to the converted 32-bit float sound into the this thing. Very lovely piano sound and also working nicely. And last but not least, let's have a listen to the woodland piano from which I did not remove the layers which do not work. So you have some weird effects on the lower velocity. You will only hear the effects <laughs> groups and then with the higher velocity, you will hear the action beforehand. So not what is intended, but maybe you can use it as an effect preset. So last but not least, let's have a listen as well to the 1010 Music Black Box, also with one of the pianos. So also with that format, the trimming as well as the 32-bit float conversion works now nicely and this also makes it more usable. Phew, lots of stuff I had to do. Thanks to your reports, keep them coming. Also send me your wishes, but there's already more in the pipeline. And until next time, make some funky music.